What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Mike. You can tell I'm clean and showered, hair slicked back. It'll poof out later when I dry out. Um, today, Mom and I are going to go down to Newark and do a little shopping. So we're just uh, going to do a little bit of vlogging today and see what we find. But first, we got to see the doggies. <laughs> Doggies! 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 You want the donut? Good girl. So in typical me fashion, I forgot to film anything, but I'm gonna film my food this time, I promise. We're gonna eat, hit up a couple more stores and then head home. I'll show you what we got today. So we made it home from our trip. We're both tired and stuffed with Olive Garden. We'll take a look at what I picked up here in a second, but first, time to let the doggies out. Sit. Speak. Alrighty, so I am back here in my room finally in the air conditioning and box fan. Um, you, you know me, my habits. I never film when I'm out and I say I'm going to unless I have friends with me. But that's uh, mainly because mom and I just wanted to get through everything, get back home after we got done eating. Um... All in all, not a bad day at all. There was a bit of a surprise store that was new to me that I didn't plan on going to. Um, my one big critique is yet again, I couldn't find any of the uh, Disney 100th anniversary uh, Lego mystery bags. Starting to think that they don't even exist <laughs> with like the amount of luck I'm having finding them. Let's dive right into what all I found. Right off the bat, Ollie's was dope. You know me, I always find a lot of comics and stuff at Ollie's. Um, I got this uh, Hot Wheels Starships 3-pack of Den and Grogu on their speeder, the Razor Crest, and Grogu and his Hover Pram. Um, I have the Hover Pram Hot Wheels already, but for that price, it wasn't a bad pickup at all. Um, and then the other thing I picked up, which I don't think I'll even open this, and I literally have never gotten one of these before. It's uh, this weird, uh, I don't know what it's even considered. One of those like card backs, and the color scheme is based off of the concept art. But they had this Moff Gideon for $7.99 with one of my mom's coupons that only ended up being like $6. So I was like, you know what, this is this a little nice little addition uh, to my Mando collection, so Ollie's came in clutch. Next up was Kohl's. I'm still laughing that I found this, and this came, or this was listed as a preschool toy when I looked at my receipt. Um, another critique that I had made in my return vlog was I couldn't find a lot of, uh, Jurassic Park stuff for the 30th anniversary, except the lunchbox, which I realized I never showed you guys. And this is the perfect time to show you guys, because, I mean, look at this thing. It's got the Dilophosaurus on one end, a T-Rex on the other. Like, that is a cool lunchbox. And speaking of the Dilophosaurus, uh, again, this is listed as a preschool toy. Dilophosaurus Ambush for the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park. 
Uh, very excited to get another dinosaur mold. Um, getting a Dennis Nedry figure, a freaking Jurassic Park Jeep with the sign and stuff. Um, it's really difficult to see, but on the back here, you can switch his face to have all the goop all over it from uh, that scene, which this is probably like the second worst scene to consider a preschool toy next to the one guy getting eaten off the toilet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very excited to build this later, though. As you can see, I got all my Jurassic Park stuff behind me. Super excited to add it to the collection. I've checked, like, four targets for this thing since it came out. And I finally found it. Um, it's Ghost's new Phantomime EP. Uh, it has a bunch of cover songs on it. The one that really got me was uh, the cover for Jesus He Knows Me by Genesis. I think uh, Ghost, especially Tobias, like nailed the song. Elated that I could find it. Ooh. That just... Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let's take a look at this actual record. Ooh. Yeah. This was worth it. <laughs> Very excited to spin this later, which is exactly what I intend on doing later tonight. So the last place that I stopped uh, was actually a bit of a surprise to me. There is a little store called Comic Book Plus, I think is the name, in the Newark Mall. And um, the Newark Mall has been kind of eh for a while because I got rid of a lot of shops that I liked to go to. Um, they used to have FYE way back in the day. But <clears throat> I was just trying to kill time while mom was shopping in JCPenney. And as I was, like, getting ready to walk a lap around the little ring in the store, I happened to turn and look. And I like to full-on, like, full-body, like, double-take. Because there was a little shop. And I had seen an advertisement for this shop before. It was called uh, Buckeye Pop Shop. And they had a ton of, like, harder-to-find stuff, but also newer stuff that recently just dropped that I literally can't find in any other stores. So I stopped in, and uh, one of the new pops they had was Nicholas D. Wolfwood from the show Trigun. Um, after having started the series like a year ago, I finally got around to watching the last four episodes or so. Bittersweet. It was well done, but super depressing, so I give it a bittersweet. Um, I'm currently waiting on my Vash the Stampede Funko Pops to come in from GameStop. Pre-ordered two of them just to see if I could get my hands on a chase. Um, should be here later this week, so I'm very excited. Uh, the other pop that I got, they had the AAA anime exclusive Red Hawk Luffy from One Piece. I don't have a lot of One Piece pops. I had, I picked up the Roronora Ro Zoro. There we go. Um, and I have the regular Straw Hat Luffy along with, uh, the Hot Topic exclusive captain buggy the clown um so that was a nice little addition like they didn't really charge a whole lot more for this than i would have paid like online and they had a handful of them so i was able to look through find one with a good paint job which was cool and i just got to stand there and talk anime with this guy for 10 15 minutes till finally my mom had to call me figure out where i was at so we could go eat um it's just a really solid day out like it wasn't a super large haul but it was a very variety filled haul which i'm all about because you know it's it's just nice to collect things other than funko pops specifically or lego because i'm very picky on the non-star wars things that i get at this point um so i just a couple things we're gonna just lean back and chill with it for a bit um, I'm still working on renovating my back collectible room. I'm going to be making some changes to it. Um, work has me really tired to finish this room. I'm going to need someone semi-tall to come help me because it's really difficult for one person to get this job done. Um, but once it's done, I'll be filming back there again like I used to. Again, just very excited to be back doing this. It's not going to be as lengthy as that last vlog that I did all the time. It's not going to be as frequent as I used to do. But it is nice to just be back with you guys. And I appreciate you being so welcoming and supportive 
when I did that first comeback vlog again for like the millionth time. Um, it always makes me feel special because sometimes I'm like, oh, it's just me, my dog, and all my stupid nerd stuff in my cave. But y'all think it's cool. So as long as y'all are watching it and thinking it's somewhat interesting, I'll keep doing it. So um, on that note, I'm going to go hang out with my dog some more and enjoy some lemonade in the sunshine. Y'all have a blessed week. Stay fresh, cheese bags.